What's up guys, I'm Sean. Next mod on my F82 M4 DCT is... is an automatic brake pedal assembly from a regular F-Series BMW. The automatic brake pedal is wider than the DCT brake pedal. This brake pedal assembly I bought used from eBay. It was around 50 to 60 bucks. Here's the part number. There's a few different variants. But basically you want the automatic brake pedal from the F-Series BMW. New is around 150 to 200 bucks. But this is a nice used condition from eBay for about 50 to 60 bucks. When I'm at the track, I like to left foot tap the brake before a major braking zone to seat the pistons on my brake calipers. And having a wider brake pedal, it's gonna be a little bit easier to left foot tap the brake before a major braking zone. The factory DCT brake pedal is about two and three eighth inch wide. The automatic brake pedal is about four and a quarter inch wide. Just to get a baseline from the distance from the dead pedal to the DCT brake pedal, I'm just gonna measure from the side of the interior to the brake pedal. It's right about 11 and a half inches. And let's see where the automatic brake pedal lands. But before we do that, we have to install the brake pedal. So we have to remove this panel. It's a 10 millimeter nut. And we're gonna pull this panel off and disconnect the wire so we can get to the brake pedal assembly. 10 millimeter nut right here. One over here. Pull the panel off. And disconnect the little speaker thing and this connector right here for the foot lamp. Then remove this panel. And looking up at the brake assembly, there's this little clip that holds the pin from the brake lever to the brake booster. So you have to just pry it off and this clip should slide out. And then there's a 13 right there, a 13 over here, and a 10 millimeter at the very top. And then we disconnect the wire harness and then this brake assembly should come out. Clip comes out. This little pin. Push it through to the other side. Pin comes out. Now we're gonna get to the 10 millimeter, the very top. 13 right here. One more in the upper left. I gotta unhook this connector right here at the very top. There. Comes off, and this brake assembly comes out. All right, here's the two brake pedal assembly next to each other. Everything pretty much looks the same, besides the width of the brake pedal. All right, installing this is just basically reverse fashion. Angle it, slide it in to line up the bolt. And the brake booster arm. Just like that. I'm just gonna put the 13 millimeter loosely on for now, just to kind of hold it in place. It's going to be hard to see, but I'm going to reinstall the connector. Then I'm going to loosely install the 10 at the very top. Alright, the 10 millimeter and the 13 millimeter nuts have been tight snug. Maybe only about 10 to 15 foot pounds, just hand tight. Don't overdo it because it's plastic. And now we just have to install the pin. So line up the brake booster. arm that the hose to the brake pedal slide the pin through make sure it goes to the other side the pin has a little notch in it so this clip should slide through and click on there it is it's on move it around a little bit doesn't come off 
and now we can just test the brake pedal. Yep, everything looks good. All right, one important thing to note about the brake pedal assembly is this sensor right here. This thing slides in and out. So you can, so it's adjustable. See how it slides in and out? So when it's assembled in the car, you want this plastic part, the sensor, to touch the metal part of the brake pedal. So that means the brake is not engaged. If there's a gap here, for example, and you install it and there's a gap, the car's going to think that you're stepping on the brake. If you're able to turn on the car without stepping on the brake pedal, that means there's a gap there. So you want to close the gap. So I'll show you. With the brake pedal assembly installed, you want there not to be a gap in the neutral state. So therefore, it shows that the brake pedal is not on. So if I press the accessory button, the engine does not come on, just like factory. At first, because there was a gap, the car thinks that I'm stepping on the brake, like so. So therefore, the car came on by me just pressing on the accessory button without stepping on the brake pedal. So without stepping on the brake pedal, you want this sensor to touch that metal part right there. If I just press the accessory button, it's just like factory. Before, what happened was I pressed the accessory button and the car automatically started. So you definitely want to adjust that sensor correctly. Make Alright guys, that's a wrap. Automatic brake pedal installed on my M4 DCT is done. Pretty straightforward install. It only took about 30 minutes. Now let's see our measurements. Before with the DCT brake pedal, it was about 11 and a half inches from the side of the interior. Now it's about nine and five eighths. So we gained almost two inches on the left side. That's a big difference. Now when I'm at the track, I can left foot tap the brake gently before a major braking zone to seat the pistons of my brake caliper. That gain of almost two inches is a big difference. So now when I left foot tap the brake, it's gonna be a lot easier. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.